Firewall crew, how we doing? So, we're gonna go over today about, do you have flexible ankles? If you don't, you can turn this off right now. However, if you do, we're gonna actually cater this to you today, and we're actually gonna go over how they're both a gift and a curse. You'll, you'll notice, and a curse is in all caps, because sometimes those flexible ankles are actually hindering us from our squatting ability. So, the optimal muscles we want to use in a squat are going to be your hamstrings, that muscle behind your thigh, and then your glutes, that booty. The secondary muscles are going to be the quads, which is the muscle in front of your thigh. So, what this means is, hamstrings, glutes, good, which are in the back. The front is good, but it's a secondary muscle. What happens with flexible ankles, we're going to look at this beautiful stick figure down here. You can see that his knees are driving forward way past his toe. So that dotted line is a straight line up from his toe. And you've probably seen a lot of people who squat like this. So I can't really do a super good squat doing this because my ankles aren't really flexible. But more or less, it looks something like this, where I have that knee driving out over the toe. Although my foot's flat, I'm still driving that knee out. And I feel a lot of that pressure in my quad. A good way to kind of test this is, if you go on the balls of your feet and bend your knees a little bit, you'll feel these muscles activating, but not so much these ones. If you want to try it out the other way, flow your toes up, push your butt back, you're going to feel a lot tighter muscles back here that are engaged, and in the front, you're not going to feel near, nearly as much. What we want to be doing is an air squat that looks similar to this, where the knee stays behind that toe. So now when I squat down, I want my butt going back like we always preach and sitting down in those heels. And you can see that the toe is in front of the knee, which is what we want. So how do we practice fixing this? To your, I think it's your left. Right? Yes, your left, my right. You're gonna see this gorgeous box right here. Really good way to do this. I kind of think of it as um, squat therapy, which we used to do. We don't do it so much anymore. But I think this is a better version of it because your whole upper body has room to move. So I'm creating a wall right here. I'm getting my feet as close to this box as I can. And I'm gonna sink down the squat and avoid my knees touching the box. So this way I'm engaging my hamstrings and glutes without having to worry about my knees driving forward. To start, some of you might be able to literally touch your knees from this position here. I can't, again, my ankles aren't that flexible, but what the goal will be is to do 10 squats, take a little step forward, 10 more squats, take a little step forward, and try to get all the way where the toes are on the box. Again, if you're squatting like this, it's not wrong, it's just not optimal. So that's how we're gonna get better at squatting if we have those flexible ankles. Might not have been something you thought of before. Um, I hope you can take advantage of it. Use this box before and after classes and we'll get better at squatting.